vlog. What? I said, hey vlog. I'm at my job. And I don't have any makeup on. What this fuck? Yeah, well, I don't have any fucking coffee right now. Because she fucking lied to me. Oh my god. Anyway. I didn't feel like putting my makeup on, so you're just gonna have to deal. I, like, want to do shit today, but at the same time, I'm just like... No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, I spent my whole morning just like... Well, I'll, I'll do, like, the nice shit first. I spent the whole morning, like... Just like trying to like respond to you guys. I got more SoundCloud links this morning, so I'm gonna listen to some of those. And then, yeah, the other thing was this morning. Well, my grandparents like I live in the basement of my grandparents' house. Such an alcoholic that when he drank his beer this morning and he didn't have time to finish it. He put the cat back on the beer instead of wasting the beer, so he could still have that half beer when he came home. Fucking alcoholism. But they don't have fun that work off the I live in the basement of my grandparents' house, back on subject, and I was in, like, they don't know that, like, I, like, smoke or, like, vapor or do anything like that. Um, I, like, smoke cigarettes, but I don't, like, put that shit in my vlog, because I don't think that's cool, and, like, I don't, like, condone that for anyone to do, but... No little Andrew, kids smoke cigarettes, yo. Andrew <laughs> gave me a vape to you, so I, like, smoke cigarettes less. And I was like vaping like a fucking dragon in my basement this morning. And sometimes my grandparents come down there and they came down there for something, yeah, I forget. Okay. They three seconds it takes to take a fucking wine cork off is too much. You need to make sure it comes off in two seconds, but you don't have a fucking coffee maker. Andrew's very mad that my boss doesn't have coffee creamer or a coffee maker. Just a side note. No, I have coffee. This nigga doesn't even have sugar in his house. Like, he doesn't have sugar or milk. He just has liquor. Like, normally, which I wouldn't mind, but like... Anyway... You know how long it took me to make that coffee this morning? How long? That was a 20-minute fucking process to make this coffee, yo. I fucking aerated the grinds and shit, yo. I put in the coffee press, boiled the water for all that. That's gonna be... A, that was gonna be a nice cup of coffee. Does this guy have fucking an Irish bailey in? Tell him it's better, right? No. Anyway. He doesn't even have, he doesn't even have coffee liqueur, yeah. I was vaping like a dragon. He doesn't even have coffee liqueur. <laughs> and my grandparents almost caught me. I'm not even going to finish the story because I'm just going to keep getting interrupted by this man's heated conflict in his life. Oh my god. It's really not that serious. Honestly, I don't think you understand how mad I am right now. I think I do. You're pacing back and forth. And it's coffee. Because, like, yo, if I didn't, like, if I knew there was an illegal coffee creamer, I would have drank pre workout so I could have energy. But, like. Oh my god. I guess I'm gonna have to drink this like a fucking peasant. Okay, so today has been like a slow day. Oh my god. What is this hair? And we're just like sitting here, whatever. And Andrew fucking added IHOP on Snapchat. Like, we went to IHOP one day and we we're just like eating or whatever. And then he's like, oh, I'm gonna add them. I was like, that's like the stupidest thing in the world. Like, it's gonna be like the stupidest fucking snap. But he just messaged them on fucking Snap. And he said, "What did, you said, M your eggs are trash. And, and they actually like... Burr, and they taste like <coughs> shit. And all honesty, and I said it tasted like it came out of a bag. And then like, I'm, I'm like waiting to open a response. Side note, they also don't have fucking mozzarella cheese at IHOP. Which I thought was really ridiculous. That is really ridiculous. Like they had every other cheese... Except for cheddar and mozzarella, which in my opinion, I feel like... Are like the two most popular. And she looked at me like I was asking like a strange question too when I asked her. She was like, no. <laughs> so honestly, fuck you IHOP. Yesterday it was fuck Taco Bell, now it's fuck IHOP. This vlog is just gonna be shitting on restaurants soon. Oh my god! Today is so boring, I have to do something, honestly. <laughs> Supposed to be like a whip up like that. Oh. 
It's that they play. Okay, so <laughs> we're getting comments from yesterday's vlog. People saying they like the Joel story. So since we're not doing anything, I guess we'll just make this fucking Joel time. Yeah, Joel time. The incredible stories of a crackhead. Alright, what's up, my niggas? What's bracken? So I'm back at you with another fucking infamous tale of the bum ass nigga Joel. People were saying that someone said that white kid said nigga, but he's my nigga though. And I was like, what? I don't know. On the I'm not white though, by the way. If you guys uh, think I'm white, I'm actually Mexican. I know my complexion says otherwise, but I'm Mexican. Hey, what's up, SA? But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Joel stories. Um, what, what the fuck was it? Oh, all right, so true story. You know how, like I was saying, Joel was a fucking scrub, right? So one time, like, they have, like, these little over-the-counter Xanax you can get at fucking CVS. And, like, one of these Xanax is, like, a Can you, like, snort those? I'm, I'm getting into okay, that. Okay, okay. But, like, one of these Xanax is, like, equivalent to, like, one-tenth of what, like, an actual Xanax is. And, like, Joel's a scrub, so naturally... He had to do some scrubby shit, and he fucking popped, I think it was close to 50 of those over-the-counter Xanax. Now, keep in mind, this bum nigga was putting on his Snapchat story, which just made it even funnier. So, he had, like, two handfuls of all these little Xanax, and he popped them all. And then, fucking, he had one of those big, big old Colgate bottles of mouthwash. And then... <laughs> After he downed all that fucking Xanax, he started sipping on the mouthwash to get fucking drunk. And then, like, it, it worked. It, it does work. It's like, you can get drunk off mouthwash. I know for a fact because Joel drank fucking mouthwash all the time. So he polished back the whole bottle of Colgate. And, like, he was like, he threw up, like, a lot. Like, a lot. And, like... He was fucking... That makes me, like, want to vomit, it, just, like, it, hearing that. You're, you're telling me. That's... Uh. And then after he fucking polished back all the Colgate, you know what this bum nigga does? This nigga tucked... He, like... He did shooters of fucking rubbing alcohol. Like, he was knocking back shots of rubbing alcohol. Uh. And he got drunk as a skunk, yo. And then, like, he was oh fucking... God. He was wandering around my boy's fucking backyard just doing Joel stuff. And, then, and, this, and this fucking nigga, he fucking runs into a tree and he knocks himself out clean on the fucking ground. Like, he was just tripping out and he's just like, Boo! knocks himself into a tree and just <laughs> knocked himself right out. He was out for the rest of the night. Yeah. Go. But, um, yeah, so Mitch's house, he's like right right next to a gas station. It's like two minutes walking right there. So Joel was bitching cause like he was hungry and like we don't want to get him fucking food and shit. And he's all doped out on cough medicine like he normally is. So we threw him over like our fucking pocket change and shit. And we're just like, all right. And we calculated like this should be enough for you, bro. They got a fucking bag of chips and a fucking Arizona iced tea. And then he's just like, but bro, like. <laughs> Like, but I don't want to walk, yo. Can I borrow your bike, Mitch? And then he looks at him. He's just like, no, I want your fucking bum ass taking my bike, yo. He's like, take John's bike. Now, John is his little brother. And he's like 10. So, Joel, like, Joel is like, up to me. He's like, another, like, foot on me. And he's like, this big, dopey looking black guy. So, picture that. And he's riding this fucking 10 year old's bike that's all rusted up. And he's going down the street and you hear him as he's going. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then like he goes off into the distance and fucking Joel disappears for like two and a half hours. So we're like, we're all under the assumption like, yo, where the fuck did like, where did Joel come back? We're just like, ah, fuck that. So we just kept smoking. And then like he comes back like. Almost three hours after we sent him around the corner to go get chips in an Arizona. And then, like, I hear the gate opening and I hear the fucking crinkling bike. And it's like, and he throws the bike down. 
And like I come out of like the screen and ports that we're in, I'm just like, yo, like, Joel, where did you go? He's just like, yo, what do you mean, bro? Like I went to the gas station, bro. I'm just like, where's your food, bro? And then he's just like, oh man, I forgot it. I'm just like, bro, you were gone for three hours. Where'd you go? He's just like. I just went down to the fucking BP, bro. I'm like, so what, which BP did you go to? This nigga went to the other VP. Like, we like live near fucking the LIE, right? He went to the opposite BP. This nigga fucking took an hour and a half bike ride to go to a separate BP. Cause this nigga was so high. There was one right, he passed. He passed the BP we told him to go to, and he went to the one by the fucking highway, and he forgot what he was going there for, and then he just came back. And then he's just like, oh man, I guess I'm gonna go back. Nah, fuck it, I'm not hungry anymore. And then he just laid on the ground and he went to sleep. Another Joel story. So, we were really, really bored this one summer day, right? <coughs> We're all tripping hard, yo. I think that day I did at least like, I was on like three tabs of acid and I was like just smoking profusely. And we were just like, we we're mad bored or in like a mad good mood. And we were just in the mood to see some fucked up shit. So we just say, like, Ayo, Joel. And he's just like, what's up, bro? And then we're just like, I looked around and this, this was my idea. Like, I, I'm taking full credit for this one. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is the only shit that I could whip up in my fucking twisted head. And I'm just like, yo, Joel, I'm like, I'll give you this dab right now. If you take this carrot and you put it up your butt and you walk around with this carrot up your ass for 10 minutes. And then, like, he looked at me and, like, he had, like, like everything in his fucking junky mind. It was just like oh running through, just like, yo, is this worth it? Like, should I do it? Like, am I that much of a scrub? And then like he looks and he goes like, yeah. And then I'm just like, nah, no fucking way you're going to do it, bro. I'm like, yo, Mitch, go get a fucking carrot right now. So he goes into it and he fucking takes the carrot and he's just like, put it up your ass, bro. And then Joel looks at it and then he's just like, with no hesitation, so it's like, Solid look, and then he's just like, and he fucking shoves it right <laughs> up his ass. For what? Though? All the way, just for one dab. And like he, like it wasn't even like he had like just a little end of the carrot in there. Like he shoved the whole fucking carrot up to the fucking greenery, up his butt. And I'm like, all right, nigga, now start walking around for me. And then like he did like his laps around the yard and shit. <clears throat> and then like. I was just like, all right, now do this dab with the carrot up your butt, bro. So oh my he, God. he fucking, he does the dab and then, <laughs> and then he fucking forgets that he had a carrot up his butt because he was so high. And then he sits down and the carrot went farther up his butt and he jumped up and he's just like, ah, oh he's like, yo, God. someone take it out, take it out, take it out. We're just like, oh, what happened? I'm on the fucking floor rolling around. I'm just like, no, no. This oh is, my God, this you is, didn't take it out for him? No, I'm not reaching up that dirty nigga's ass. Oh my God. He was homeless, yo. That nigga didn't shower. He would wear the same shirt for a week straight. That's so no sad. No fucking way I was putting my hand near that fucking gross ass fucking musty butthole That's his. so sad though. And then like he ripped it out and yo, this carrot... It was, it was like stop, a stop. film of doo-doo. Oh my God, please stop. On the entire carrot. And I threw up. And I actually threw up because like, it wasn't even just like there was a little speckles. It was like, it looked like he'd just taken like a diarrhea musty poop. And then like, oh and it was like God, dripping please shit. Please stop. Yeah. Oh my God. Of course I will. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up here but i just want to like even though today was like boring as shit i just want to say one more thing before like whatever so <clears throat> there was like beef that happened today and i'm not gonna get into it because i just don't want to deal with it but 
Are you even putting <clears throat> that into your... No, I deleted it already. I was mad before I'm not mad now, but I'm just gonna get out, like, what, like, one of the things that happened. Someone that I'm, like, actually friends with, basically, like, we got into, like, a little, like, heated... Would you say it was, like, a heated discussion? Is that, like, accurate? I wouldn't even say it was, like, heated. He just said it more casually that you're just not doing anything with your life. Yeah, he was, like, he's, like, I've been worried about you because... You're not doing anything and like you have no idea where you're going with your life like right like that was pretty much what was said i don't want to yeah. say something that's wrong no that, that was uh that was pretty much the gist of it like i'm not going anywhere with my life and i'm not doing much of anything and like whatever and that's fine like i get it but like i'm i'm choosing a path that i guess is more like ridiculed and like criticized in life so i understand artists are always criticized yeah because like i like they everyone just like assumes they're doing like less shit because they're not like in school working in nine to five but there is like okay so in my opinion doing what i'm doing is like more difficult just because there's so much like criticism and like other shit that comes with it but when you're working like a nine to five and you're going to college and shit it's like what everyone does yeah it's more like socially accepted so what i'm doing is like less socially accepted and i'm not like dissing or like saying anything bad about people who are going to college or people who are working like a nine to five like whatever like that's totally fine. I respect that. Some people choose a path in life where, like, their passion, like, that's pretty much what they have to do. They have to, you know, make a certain amount of money, pay off their car, like, pay off other things, and just go to school for something that they really want to be, like, a fucking doctor or something. And I can respect that as well. That's a lot of work. But just, like, in, like, the social aspect, it's, like, so much more difficult for someone to comprehend, like, what, like, a young creative is doing with their life. Like, whether it's, like, photography, like, you know, Martin, who's into photography and shit... He always, he always gets that kind of criticism from his family. I don't really know if he gets it from friends, but I know he gets it from his family. And, like, that sucks. So, like, photography, like, if you're painting on canvases, like, fashion, like, whatever, like, whatever you have underneath your belt, music, like, whatever you're trying to pursue in life, something like that, people just look at it like it's kind of like a fucking joke. And that's not true. Like, there's so much that you can do in this world as long as you're willing to, like, fucking grab it by the balls and just, like, head, like, straight in for something. So, I'm only, like, a month and, like, maybe a few weeks into this. And I have gotten so much love from people and so so many people saying, like, I can make this into something that, like... Literally, I've said it, like, a million times today, but, like, I'm, like, literally, like, building, like, nothing from... I'm building something from nothing, and I'm not even sure, like, what that something is yet, but I know it's gonna be big, like, I do design clothes, I haven't been doing much of that, and I said it before, too, like, I honestly regret having such a lazy day now, because I feel like I should have been making moves all day, like, if you're... If you're a young creative, or if you're just, like, a creative person in general, and, like, you're trying to pursue some sort of, like, artistic lifestyle... You literally have to be making moves, like, every single day. Like, do some shit to get you noticed. Do some shit to, like, get you out there. Because be that's... Be spontaneous. Yeah, like, be spontaneous. Do things, like, take risks. Whatever. Like, you know, like... I, I would say, like, I've, I, I've been telling all my friends, like, if they want to, like, do something funny, like, whatever. Like, start, like, a YouTube channel. Do this, do that. Like, just, like, get your name out there. I feel like that's, like, the best way to do it. Just, like, literally, like, if you're an artist, like, sign up for, like, fucking art galleries. Like maybe start a youtube channel like do like speed painting videos like whatever like make an instagram page and also just like be constantly networking be constantly trying to make connections constantly trying to do things like literally in this kind of like lifestyle you literally have to like grab life by the balls and i'm only like a month in so i can understand why people are doubting me but me personally i know for a fact that i'm gonna make this into something like so great and if you don't support me then just like I don't know, just don't fuck with me, I don't know, don't watch my shit, don't be a part of my life, don't text me, don't hit me up, whatever, I don't care, like, this is, like, what I want to do with my that life. That fart smell, like, felt like it was gonna smell, so I apologize if it does. Okay. So, yeah, um, to anyone who's been showing me love, watching my things, subscribing to me, just, like, you know, all of, like, the DMs I've been getting about people who feel the same way as me, I appreciate you guys so much, and I said it today to someone, too, like, Someone um, saw my tweets and they thought, like, it was so great. And they said, like, hey, like, I was having a rough morning. I really need to see those tweets. I saw you had a YouTube channel. Like, I'm going to go check it out. Like, and that, to me, like, that, like, made my morning, too. Because it's, like, I feel like 
what I'm doing is going to be positive and so far I've gotten like so much more criticism and like regular shit that it just like makes me want to like teach other people like you know like it's okay and just like make a platform and just be like listen you have this dream you want to follow it you want to create shit I'm Go away. yeah like I'm fucking here for you like this to me more than anything I want this to be like a platform for people to see like me start from the bottom and just like work my way to the top and show you that it's possible for you to do the same shit like I'm not doing this for clout like I'm literally just doing as this. Drake once said started from the bottom and now, now we're, we're here, here. Ooh, ooh. so it's love appreciate it for real that's like the end of my vlogs it's like true shit but it's love appreciate it oh wait wait it. I got one more thing to say and you know who you are keep her name out your motherfucking mouth oh yes and to um the lovely little girl watching my vlogs but still hating on me thanks yep. for all those views it's love appreciate it loose. yeah wavy baby bothering me yeah you boring heard that been sleeping and snoring couple years whipping the foreign then they going like a old one i just going like a door no couple years whipping the photo all that i know is i want more all that i know is i want more something ain't right but i write it up need you with me yeah